you're full of shit. So Jack, here's a pro tip. Yeah. Uh, just to keep in mind, this isn't prompted by anything. Yeah. Uh, in the future, if you're shooting in front of a green screen, yeah, uh, it's a good idea to not have the people in front of the green screen holding a spotted cow beer bottle, which has a green label. <laughs> wait, wait. That's not by anything. It's just, it's just something that came to mind <laughs> to maybe think about. <laughs> you know. I can't retreat. <laughs> oh my god. You're fighting a giant monster. Yeah, I know. You're talking about spotted cow beer. Remember? I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> no, Jay's, Jay's talking. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that, but... Oh, the little things that you don't notice. <laughs> that's a great... That's a great project. I can't yeah. leave? Oh, you no. You gotta find him. You got Oh, but you're not dead yet. Are you still running around the same area? No, no, we got to a new area. Oh, okay, good. And, and Rich is at a boss, not doing much to the boss. Well, I'm trapped in here. Yeah. We're saying ladder. What ladder? Uh... What does aspect ratio mean? Uh, it means uh, how tall something is versus how wide something is. Uh, mostly oh, using video cards. There's a ladder back where you came in. Well, we're all the way back here now. That's all right. Oh, it says climb up and then sword drop on his head like three times. Oh. Pro tip. Okay. <laughs> we're full of pro tips tonight. Shay. Oh no. You yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Do you it won't remember? be any worse than the car. <laughs> no, no. Do you remember Game Pro? Game Pro? Yeah, the, the magazine. magazine. Yeah, I remember Game Pro. Pro tip. Pro tip. Well, that car episode, we didn't even do the green screen for that in uh, After Effects. We just used Final Cut oh, for that. Because After Effects were taking forever. But. You know what has a really nice green screen for? <laughs> is uh, Premiere. Is it Premiere? Yeah, it's yeah. Premiere. I've been, uh, I use, I use Premiere Pro, I use the Adobe Suite, and I've been trying to talk uh, Jay and Mike into switching over from Final Cut. I understand all the pros of it, but I'm just, I'm so used to Final Cut. Mm -hmm. I, I got, I have a groove with yeah. Final Cut. No, it's fine. So. <sighs> it's fine. This game will not be the death of me. No, I, I want to beat, I want to at least beat that last boss, or, or this next boss, <clears throat> obviously not the last boss. <laughs> We did not use Dark Souls Fix, whatever that is. I don't, we don't even know what it is. Uh, is it true that I have nowhere, no hair anywhere on my body like that kid from Powder? Uh, that is not true. I, I have hair in other places, is like a, my arms. Is that a thing? Powder? Did you know that you have? No, it's, I, no it's just someone. Anymore? It's just someone being very clever and calling me bald. <laughs> As if I was unaware that I was bald. Come on. Come to my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Oh. I'm all literary now. <laughs> Shit. Jack and Rich, you can just run past all the enemies. <laughs> can we? <laughs> I mean, that's what they're saying. I guess we can. Yeah. That seems so cheap. <laughs> yeah, but that's how you do it. And it, it says take off the armor and you can run faster. So you take off the armor and just run past everybody. Is that, that's, you know, if that's how people play this game, then this game sucks. <laughs> no, you gotta play it by taking off your armor so you're nude and you can run past everybody. Right, right. That's the way it's supposed to be done. That's dumb. <laughs> However, I am tired of getting my ass kicked. <laughs> I have to admit that. So, what's the call filled thing in the background? Oh, on the VCR repair shop, we have a note that says "call filled." It's just a thing. It's just something we stuck up there because we needed to cover a court board and it, stuff. It's detail. It's detail, and Phil is a name we use a lot. That's actually uh, uh, Josh, the wizard's character, on Half in the Bag. He's played a character named Phil. In fact, Josh has played a character named Phil in everything he's been in that we've done. It became a running thing where we always have him named Phil. I don't remember how it started, but... Well, was it a Grabowski's Phil? Was it Phil My Ass Up? He was Phil My Ass Up on that. Phil My Ass Up, I think yeah. he actually... Oh, that's what it was. He was Phil on the Grabowski's. Phil My Ass Up. And, right. <laughs> that's a joke. 
Do you get him? I get him. Um, <laughs> I know. He, was, he played Phil on that, and then in someone else's movie, right around the same time, he was in that. And coincidentally, he was also named Phil in that. Oh, yeah? So then we we're like, well, let's just name him Phil in everything we do. <laughs> oh, I see the letter. He's actually Phil Davis in Feeding Frenzy. And then Phil <laughs> Davis turned out to be the character's name in Russian Terminator. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, look at that. There's a crossbow guy up there. He called the wizard. That's just his nickname. It has been forever. Where did that? Did that? Where did that come from? I, I I don't know. He's been the wizard for longer than I've known him. All right. Where is it? Oh, it didn't start running at me yet. Or is it down here and I can't see it? Uh, it? I don't think it spawned yet. Oh shit! What? Oh, oh. that knocked some health down. Yeah, well, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> you. Ah, yes, you've got the problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's what this game should be called. You've, you've got, got the, the problem. problem. You're gonna die. <laughs> See? Oh, and apparently there's a way to kindle the bonfire and it will get you uh, more flasks. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I like that, sneak under his little goblin legs. Oh, fuck! Oh, gotta get back up that ladder. Can should've I get rolled. back up? Should've rolled. Get out of there. Oh. That was... We're like, getting there. We're getting there. You had the, you had the group. We can try running past everybody, like everyone says. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking at her Twitter yeah. uh, activity. This was a while ago. Uh -huh. was, uh, Jay from Red Letter Media is playing Dark Souls live. He sucks. <laughs> You're very correct. We all suck at this game. Yeah. Ne'er be spoke. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to keep my pants on. You have gonna... that much dignity. And I'm going to keep my gloves on. Look at that. That's a badass character right there. That's an ugly corpse. Uh, you know, so you know what I'm going to do now? Run past all the motherfuckers. See ya, bitch! Running away. This is such a lame way to play this game. No way. Yeah, this is. This is totally unsatisfying. This is a very unsatisfying. We are. I. We are literally only doing this because of the stream. There is no way I would ever play the game like this. Actually. How horrible. Yeah, this is not fun. You're just running past all the challenge. You gotta go up. Turn around. Run it! Oh well, see now I gotta fight some. Oh, yep, and lure them away, and then go around. Okay, come over here, guys. Come over here. Oh no, now there's more of them. Run. Okay. And well, now I know where the stairs are. Yeah. I didn't know where the stairs were. Um. Uh, I don't know if if Fuckbot Five Thousand will ever. I mean, I'm sure. He's unpredictable. We don't know what he does. I'm sure he'll. If we find an appropriate funny use for him. He'll come back. That, there we go. It's not like we don't have the costume. Yeah. Yeah, the costume is safely uh, stored away if we ever need to use it again. If there's a gag, and it's funny, yeah, he'll, he'll probably come back. Unless we decide we want to tell, like, a serious, dramatic fuckbot story. <laughs> <laughs> That's always possible. <laughs> okay, where's the door? Keep going up. Oh, I see it. Yeah, that wasn't very fun. Wow, we just skipped past a chunk of the game. Okay. Because that's the only way you can get past the game. So now I'm going to go here and... No, no, don't. Um, well... I want to re-equip stuff. You want to you wanna run to that ladder as fast as you can. Well, no, I want to I wanna kill the people. The ladder's behind me, right? Okay, kill the people and then take your clothes off again. You can try the, the weaker armor, yeah. Okay. I want to... Oh, the ladder's not over here? It's on the other no, side? No, that's it's there. Well, unless it, it moves. Oh, I, this is on. I, that's that menu. Yeah, menu. isn't that the worst thing? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it is. The confusion menu? <laughs> you have no shield. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I have never a shield. Mind. I, I thought Use you the gold it. pine resin. Yeah, people keep saying that. Oh, shit. I did, it. I did a bad Apparently thing. Apparently you did use the gold pine resin. Uh, no, I did a really bad thing. I know, I saw. Yep. Oh my god, you guys. 
Uh, Rich has been playing for a long time, and uh, I forgot how to play. <laughs> Rich, you need to do this. You were in a group, right. and you get you handed it over to me, and I'm sorry. Well, I can always gotta be fair. <laughs> <laughs> no, you do. But I'll watch the I'll watch the chat. I'll talk to the people in the chat. All right, now we're gonna skip past half the game. Yep. Because that's how you play the game. If you want to know how Mr. Plinkett came about, you should buy the Behind the Mr. Plinkett DVD. What was the one? The Red Letter Media Archive. The Red Letter oh, it, Media Archive. It doesn't Archive. stop when you're offline. I'll just die. Huh? Yeah, a 20-minute documentary on there about the history of Mr. Plinkett. Mm-hmm. What do you click to on your Um, the, the, the blue button. No, Fuckbot does not need a penis. That's the joke. <laughs> Maybe you got. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. It was just. Sometimes people doesn't. How are you guys liking the game? That's a good question. Ah, uh, I. It's more frustrating than fun. Well, I think it is. Uh, you. Yeah, you <laughs> uh, there's challenging and then there's punishing. I think this is going into punishing. I think I would dig the shit out of this game uh, if I was playing it by myself. If I was playing it not... I would be more into it playing it by myself. Not in front of people. But, um, I'm not completely sold right now. Mm -hmm. I, Where is my homeboy monkey man? He is in a giant plastic tote in the other room. That's where he is. <laughs> my homeboy? That monkey man is somebody's homeboy. The monkey man gets his. <laughs> <laughs> He'll get his. That part. Run away! Of course, that's what I'm supposed to do. Right? Run away. Like, I, I, I haven't had enough time playing to really internalize the controls. Uh -huh. And I think that's obviously... One of the most Especially switching off. Yeah, yeah. That's one of the most important things of the game is getting that muscle memory down and just like, you know, pressing a button without thinking about pressing a button. And I, and there hasn't been enough time to get that that muscle memory in yet. Um, but I think once it's in and once I really nail down the combat system, I could see myself sinking a lot of hours into this. Well, oh, you just like parkour. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I think next time, for the sake of. A stream, uh -huh. or just do something more just fun. Okay, <laughs> hey, I, 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 I'm. Uh, you this, just want to hear you bullshit anyway. It doesn't matter. Look at this. I I, I can't even run past these guys. <laughs> Did I not unequip enough stuff? <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, you still have your pants on. <laughs> uh, how long left for the stream? I guess that depends on when you guys we, get sick of this shit. We are trying to beat this last boss. <laughs> Probably not much longer left in the stream, gotta be honest. We've been at this for a while. Yeah, as soon as we kill this guy. Definitely. Possibly before. Well, that's good. Oh. <sighs> I'm starting to hate this game. <laughs> it's hard. It's a hard game. There, there, There's a moment in hard games where you just have to make the choice that this is the game you're going to play. And once, once you have that mindset... Like the the challenge really sinks in, and then it gets fun. And when it comes to hard games, I'll take Ninja Gaiden over this. Ah. Ninja Gaiden is masterable. I, I think this could be masterable under different circumstances. <laughs> well, all right, like like take this fucker for instance. Yeah. How are you supposed to know this the fucking ladder over here? Uh. I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. It's just one of those things you learn where where it's like probably. Oh. oh. My guess is what would happen is eventually you'd get hit by one of their arrows, and then you'd have to look around, you know. Um, Jay is the coolest dude around. Oh, well, thank you. That's that's just what someone says. That's not an accurate statement, but you're entitled to your opinion on that. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fucking menu was up. That. Oh shit. Oh, did you? Do oh, yeah. <sighs> Deep breath. <laughs> Deep breath. The game is good. You all are making it harder than it is by willfully ignoring advice. Oh. <laughs> all right. All right. 
What advice have we willfully ignored? You told us to go up the stairs, we went up the fucking stairs. You told us to take <laughs> off our pants, we're taking off the pants. <laughs> We're, we're, we're doing the things you tell us to do, and, and by the way, all the things you're telling us to do make the game less fun. Like, sprinting past all these guys is not nearly as fun as trying to beat them all and then beating the bad guy. So, I guess whoever said that, fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> Is Hotline Miami, is that the game that uses the song from Miami Connection? There's some game. No, no that's no. Uh, Far Cry. Far Cry, that's yeah. right. Three? Yeah, yeah. Hotline Miami, we talked about it last stream, is uh, is Drive, the game. Okay. It, it's very, the style of it is very reminiscent to Drive, and it's it's very good. It's a it's a, a twin stick shooter type thing, and which means nothing to you, Jay, but... No, it does it's... But it uses a song for Miami Connection. That's all I. No, heard. not that. Not that one. Oh, that's Far Cry Blood Diamond. Blood Dragon, yeah. I think. Blood Dragon. Or the third one, yeah. Far Cry Three. Far Cry, yeah. That so one. which one's Link Drive? A Hotline Miami. That's Hotline Miami. Okay. Yeah. And it is a very fun game, and it's very, it's it's very stylistic and nice. And I played it on my Vita and really enjoyed it whilst pooping. <laughs> They're saying kindle the bonfire and level up. Where is there? Oh, up here? No, there's not a bonfire up there's there. Not, wish... Next time we're at the bonfire. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Next time we're at the bonfire, then we need to kindle it. Sure. And and to use pine resin, which we uh, we've already checked, right? And we don't have a pine <sighs> resin. So. Okay, if you want us to use the pine resin, be more specific about what it is. And what it does. Where it is, how we can get it, what it does, and how we use it. Now. Um, what other games do I have on my Vita? Uh, the thing I, I put the most time in on my Vita is uh, Spelunky. Uh, I was working on 100%ing Spelunky, and that was super, super duper fun. Uh, I've been uh, playing Hyper Light Drifter. No, not Hyper Light. Uh, uh, Velocity Ultra. That is a strange name. What? Hyper Light Drifter. Hyper Light Drifter is a different game that's about to come out. Uh, Velocity Ultra is the game I've actually been playing, and it's super fun. Oh, fuck. Now I got the song from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have that song stuck in my head very frequently. Let's, Fr let's Friends just... Forever? Yes. Let's just... Whoa! Not cool! <laughs> Apparently, he can come up there. Um, run away! Um, if you're asking me whether you should get a Vita or a 3DS, I, I would probably say 3DS. There's more games for it, but I like I like the Vita games better. And I only got a Vita so I can play Binding of Isaac Rebirth when it comes out on it. I own I own many games for Vita. Um, uh, I really liked um, Guacamelee. That was a super fun game. How do I get? Back over there, God. Playing uh, Rayman Origins on my Vita is super nice. Jack, you should be on half of the bag more. I don't think I've ever been on half of the bag. You guys must be thinking of someone else. <laughs> <laughs> well, Are you getting him? No, no. I jumped off the side and shoved it down. Oh, okay. My game, li my game library, library, library. Ah, just running out of voice. My game library is very indie. Fuck this game. As I, <laughs> <laughs> um, as I talked about here before, I like I like to be surprised about my entertainment, and indie offers me a chance to be surprised by a game instead of um, dulled by its okayness. All right, I'm done. Did you die? Oh, Rich is done. done. Rich doesn't like the game. Uh, that okay. That is not in any way, shape, or form a fun boss fight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's, let's take a look at this bonfire. Kindle. They want us to kindle. We cannot kin kindle while hollowed. Well, there's that advice. So how do we kindle? Reverse hollowing. Reverse hollowing. No humanity. No humanity. Okay. Hey guys, thanks for the good advice. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back. There's humanity in an inventory. Can you use humanity from your inventory? Let's find out. Hit the down thing until humanity comes up. 
Wait, try using it before you did. Didn't I? Man, exit. Okay, all right. Is this how we do it? I sure. Reverse. Offer humanity in reverse hollowing. Yes. I'm. You know, uh, it, did it tell us this at one point? And now, Kindle? Well, that's the problem while streaming while doing this shit, Humanity. I guess. Okay. Wait, did I reverse my hollowing? Yes, you did. Oh, so now I need to now use... Now you got skin. Now I need to use another now humanity. Now you need to Kindle. It said I needed another humanity. All right, use humanity. <laughs> All right, that's him. Oh, Jesus, it's like their IQs dropped 20 points by, by playing this game. It, it's... <laughs> you guys, this is really tough, like, playing a game for you guys. It's pretty... Well, you have, to, you have to keep in mind, people. Go to Kindle. They're not go to Kindle. just playing did. the game. You didn't go to Kindle. I did. We're playing you the went game. to reverse. Oh, also keeping no, an eye yeah. on the chat and, and the stream, and it's it's tricky. You're not just focused on the game. I, I did Kindle. Look. I thought you went to reverse. No, use the humanity again. Fuck it. Look, it's bigger. What is the fire? A uh, so? Uh, that's kin That's when you Kindle. What does that do? I don't know. They, this is what they're telling us to do. Level up. So what is? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now we get 10 Estus flasks. Oh, well that, okay, okay. That's hey guys, something. you guys, this is tough. Someone's saying this is a bad game to stream for the first time. But hey. I think we're discovering that, huh? <laughs> Everybody asked for this game. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? We obliged. Yeah. Yes. We obliged, and, and. Is it the first time Red Letter Media has ever done something that people requested? And look how it's turned out. <laughs> See, this is why we don't do anything that you guys ask for. <laughs> <laughs> now remember, Jack, run past oh, everything. Oh right, right. Now run. Oh wait, this guy's coming in, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with him. Okay, now, okay, now we're gonna take off all of our clothes. <laughs> so you can run past the game. So you can run past the game. Oh. Unequip, 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 unequip. <laughs> He's naked. <laughs> okay, 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 ready? Go! No. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> um, this is just a naked man running. Run faster, Jack. I, I'm... I'm trying not Run, to... or they will stab you. No, but I, I, I have to watch my stamina. Okay, and run. Watching my stamina. Watching my stamina. And run. Get out of here. You ain't got nothing. And run. Nope, you ain't... Oh, yep, okay. Nope. And run. Okay, great. Hey, guys. We made it. Drink a thing. I will drink a thing before I go through the thing. Okay. Drinking a thing. Before you get chased up there and get through that fucking portal. Oh, someone mentioned the, the idea of best of the worst video game movies. We've talked about this. Yeah. It'll probably happen eventually. Yeah. Why are there so many dings in the old Best of the Worst episodes? Uh, that's just a piece of the music. We had a guy composed a couple of really long tracks of music that we could just lay under our discussions. And uh, one of the tracks has a little ding sound that apparently distracts people. We don't use it anymore. Your pants. And, I'm, and my pants. I need my pants. Oh, look at all these. Uh, I think I'm going to do them pants. Damn. <laughs> Do we have arrows? We don't have arrows. That would be so nice. Alright. Okay. Oh, wait, I do want to recover lost powers. Whatever that is. Whatever our lost powers was. I think you loot, like, souls and whatnot that the previous you dropped when he died. Sure. Is there a way to get up the ladder faster? There, I hope there is, because that guy keeps attacking you on the ladder. Yeah. No, but we have we have all the things this time. We got we got plenty of jams. Okay. Use another jam. Okay. So now I climb up, and w when I'm in the air, I press the right bumper, and that does yes, the head. Yes, as you're falling. As you're falling. As you're falling, and that does the head thing. So I'm gonna. Wait! Climb. Don't jump. Climb I, this. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, guys. We just want to beat this enemy. Instantly turn around and run. Running. straight the ladder because because game this game <laughs> uh -huh. break potion real quick but he's gonna jump up there sooner or later so you gotta be real quick on falling back down to attack uh, I missed him oh no oh no he hadn't hit that once fine resin equals lightning damage oh I remember that yeah I remember that um... Oh! Fuck you. Use a potion when you're down there. Huh? Use a potion, use a potion. Go back down and use a potion. He's here, he's here. Fuck you. Wait a little bit longer before you hit the, the buffer, I think. Not sure. Got him. Fucking got him. There you go. There you go. Just go straight to the ladder. Going straight to the ladder. Get out of my way. Get out of my jam. Get out of my jam. It's all right. It's all right. He's in my jam. <laughs> this is so fun. Hey, you climb back up the ladder and, and let's do this. <laughs> Stab him. Let's run over again. Yeah, I'm sure. This is the cheap way, I'm sure. This is the cheap way to win. I'm very sure about that. You need a potion soon. I know, I know. I gotta get out of my jam. And I'm dead. And we're done. <laughs> you get Drix is gonna give it one shot. I we can't I mean maybe one or two more times. So <laughs> look into uh, go into your inventory. And in this inventory, one of them gives you lightning powers. So unequip one of them. Go back. Oh, hey, I just want to read what they do and find out which one is... Well, well, this is the stuff already in your... You have to go back first, I think, don't you? Or, like, I, I don't know. You have to unequip one. Sure, all right. All okay, right, we're so now... Unequipped. Okay. Now, what are they asking for? Cracked red eye orb. What are they asking pine for? Pine tar. Pine, gold pine resin. Here we go. Just fight him after one drop. Everyone is saying go back up. They're boned. Unequip the axe, it slows you. Oh, also apparently the axe is slowing us down. What axe? We have the axe equipped in our alternate weapon slot. Really? Oh, that'll still slow you down? Apparently. That's what... Uh, I just read that. Well, that's so counterintuitive. Well, no, it's... It's very... It's counterintuitive to games, but it's very intuitive because you're carrying it. Yeah, but if it's not, like, in his hand at that time... I think yeah. It's, I think it's weird. It's on your person. It's real, Rich! Do I need to re-jimmy jig my humanity? You know, I don't think... Uh, only if you need to... Only if you want to rekindle the fire, which I don't think you need to do, because you get... Now you just start with ten flasks. All the Jim Jam time. <laughs> 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 no, right now, Rich is not paying attention to the chat. I'm paying attention to the chat because I'm not playing Rich's, so... Rich is just playing the game. I haven't been able to pay much attention because that font is so small I can't read it. Yeah, well, and it's it's the way that Open Broadcaster changes like the uh, display settings uh -huh. when it, when it's doing recording. So I can't do anything about the font. Next time, what we'll do is we'll get another monitor. And uh, <laughs> that's what we need is more shit to hook up. And another wire out of this computer to just have a big monitor for the chat feed. <laughs> So, so, Why don't you like Godzilla? Um, well, we made a video where I explained why I didn't like it. In that video, so, did it elaborate on your thoughts and feelings? It did, it did. So, that exists. Wait, where can people see this video? Uh, you can see it at redlettermediums.corn. <laughs> Corn. 
That was funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that's, not, that's not me, but I think Mike started. That's, that's oh. Mike. That's Mike. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's old news to be a J. Yeah. 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 Oh, and if you hold the sprint button, you can climb the ladder faster, by the way. I was. Oh, okay. I was. Nice. I swear I was. I, well, I found that out when I was playing, and someone just said it in the stream, which reminded me to tell you. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, and please tell Rich to calm down. He's scary. Hey, Jack, ignore everything the chat tells you and just play how you want. <laughs> I, I agree. I just, you know, I, we, I think we are trying to get stuff accomplished and, in general, be entertaining for you guys. We like to entertain people. It's, it's almost as if that's what we like to do. <laughs> um. Oh my God. Oh, that was nice. Um... Nice. Nice. Oh, that took away most of it. Yeah, well... And that took away the rest of it. Logan's run's a good movie. Have you ever seen that? Logan's run's great, yeah. That's the way he wears the jewel in his hand, yeah? Yeah. yeah. That's really nice old-school sci-fi. Really well done. That's another really slow burn, too, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. I love 70s sci-fi movies. I love the look of them. Mm-hmm. Where everything's just a set, and you know it, and they don't <laughs> care. The opening of that movie, it's, it's painting across the landscape, and it's a, a, such an obvious miniature, but it's so great. <laughs> uh, I almost love that movie. Yeah. It was a TV show. I know, yeah, I've heard about it. It was a TV show yeah. for Logan's Run? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. Sci-fi or something like that. I had a marathon of it once, it was like terrible. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, man. I was like all looking forward to it. Oh, I want to see this. I didn't know there was a show. I, I got there and I was like, uh... It's amazing how many movies have been adapted into really horrible, failed TV shows. You know what? Last, a lot. Last time I forgot about the Pine Resin that we made it such a big deal on. Oh, by the way, <laughs> the chat remembers. Yeah, they're right. <laughs> <laughs> sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'll try to remind you this time. I can't even get up there. This is frustrating! You <laughs> can fucking frustrating the fuck out of me! Yeah, look at Rick is now possessed by a demon of some sort. <laughs> what? Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Dark Souls! Oh man! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Get your jam. Oh, in. they are remaking Logan's Run, and the creator of Bioshock is writing it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh. Wait, Bioshock One? It just says Bioshock. I think it's the same guy. Oh, it's all the same guy? I think it's kind of mine for both. Okay. I mean, I didn't mind Bioshock One. Why can't I use my flask? Oh, because you have the jams on. What? The menu jams. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> the jams? Um, block the demon's attack with the shield. Yeah, that didn't seem to do much. That's uh, Ken Levine. Yeah, that's who I was talking about. That's why I kept saying Ken Levine. <laughs> he is a guy. He's a video game guy. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How now? Pine resin? Do I, how long does it last? Should I use it right now? Uh, that's a, that's a good question. Do you want to wait for the chat? To yeah, tell us? Okay. chat. Tell me, do I use this right now, or should I do it right before I attack? Now we have to wait for the for it to catch up. Use the resin now. All right. Resin, 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 resin. <laughs> Jack, uh, I assume that says would I fuck Anne Rand? Uh, sh I, I don't know. Is she a nice lady? Do, does she does she share, share similar interests with me? She's the the Atlas Shrugged. Yeah, no, I know. I'm. You know what? I um. Oh no! By the way, look. By the way, he shouldn't have used the pipe. Oh wait, maybe it comes back when you're not on the ladder. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, yeah, you still have it. Fuck his world. <laughs> That did nothing. It didn't seem like it did it much. It didn't do damage. anything. Um, I I liked the Fountainhead. Did you ever read the Fountainhead? That sounds familiar. Sounds familiar. Right? And, and Rain book. 
Oh no, no, I'm thinking of the Star Trek, the drum head. Oh, okay. Of PG. Okay, I, I liked the fountain head, but the fountain head was about a guy who um, was the best at what he did, and he didn't, you know. Why, why are you talking about that when I'm about to do this show? Oh, I, well, I'm Look just at gonna... this. Look at this. All right. You gotta do one more. <sighs> this is right now, pine tar. Pine resin? Yeah, whatever. Sorry, right, you got it. Got that ladder. Got that ladder. Oh shit. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> I think Rich is done, guys. Rich dropped the controller. He dropped the controller. <laughs> you guys. Just sitting there staring straight at me. I think his brain is broke. So Rich dropped the controller. <laughs> Oh, he's picking it up. Oh, oh. He's coming back for more. <laughs> so the question is, is when he beats the boss, is it going to be worth it? <laughs> His brain just broke. <laughs> it, it didn't seem like the pine resin did that much more damage. I mean, it probably... <laughs> If people in the chat, I believe you that the pine resin did more damage. It just didn't seem like it did. <laughs> oh, okay, it adds a hundred extra damage. Well, I know, I'm sure it did. It just, you know, it just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it did that much. The fountain beats you over the head with his meshes. Exactly, yeah, the fountain head is about like a really selfish, egotistical guy, which is why I liked it, because I'm very <laughs> selfish and egotistical, and I always think I'm right too, and so, you know, it's a fine book if, if you want to be pat on the head and say that your ideas are better than everyone else's. <laughs> I have the tiger, Jimmy Jam of the Rich Evans. Yeah, we have, Rich has gone bye bye. <laughs> that was a reference to uh, Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. <laughs> I wasn't talking about movies, I was talking about books, so fuck you. <laughs> I haven't talked about movies for a while, I was talking about the Fountainhead. Maybe they just saw the Atlas Shrugged movie and they think... Oh, I don't, I don't know. I was talking about books. I remember books. Yeah. I like books. I don't want to read a book. Can I tell them? I read enough books. Apparently, after you do your knife attack, he's stunned for a moment, so you can you might be able to get in a quick combo. If you... <laughs> All work and no Jimmy Jam, big rich adult boy. <laughs> Sir, you know. <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. Oh, you know what my favorite book is? Um, the Ear, the Eye, and the Arm. It's like, uh, it's it's a book I read when I was in like the sixth grade by Nancy Farmer, and it's about um, detectives with mutant powers in South Africa. It is honestly just the neatest. It's, you know, it's, a, it's like a, it's a young adult's book. Obviously, yeah. I read it when I was in sixth grade. Um, it's a book that I just read every once in a while just to rekindle my love of reading and it's it's just a nice like little uh, a kid and his sister go on an adventure and it's it's really great the ear the eye i don't want to recommend it hey jay rich evans just beat the first boss really you did it i did it's the power of the jimmy jam jimmy jam <laughs> not the jupey jay <laughs> I also just remembered we can't save. That's true. <laughs> we can't save this. No. This is all mm -hmm. 
for nothing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, uh, just but like that, hey, but you, I, but you beat it, and it's recorded for history forever now. I and and I here. Let's what? take a look at our guy here. Uh, He's the big champion. He's the big strong man. You're a big strong man. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Here. I'm going to watch a speed run of this tonight and feel oh, sure. ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> Here, should we do like a should we do like a Michael Bay like How how about that Ninja Turtles movie? <laughs> I don't want to see a dragon. No, we're done. Rich beat the uh, enemy. We're, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done with the game. We for all long. We're just gonna leave I it. Say we, you guys. <laughs> we're gonna leave it right here. Rich has done most of the work. I don't. I don't want a dragon. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, hold on, wait, Rich, wait, 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 let me, That's let me, let me do this. Okay, now you can do whatever you want. I just... Turn it off. Just, you can turn it off. Yeah. All right, hey, guys. That was the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed it as much as we didn't. <laughs> I'm just, I'm going to let the previously recorded jam play now, and if you want, you can ask us questions, and we'll hang around for a second. Uh, but we're not we're not gonna play. I mean, Rich is playing the game right now, but I don't. I'm just walking. Around. I'm not hardcore playing. He's just anything. walking around and looking. So you can talk to us. All praise to all praise to the Jimmy Jams, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was the dragon. And it killed you. It killed you. Oh my god. Oh my god. The dragon killed him in a fiery death. <laughs> Remove skeleton, quick. Thank you. You just closed out the section. Section. Follow them. Oh man. Uh three percent of the game is now beat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Well so what it what it seems like to me is is there there is a bit of a bit. The, a ton of the game is the grind because you know you beat you have to beat all these little enemies, and that's what gives you your soul. And you go back to the bonfire, and you use the little enemy enemies to like stat up. So, there, so there's there's a big grind element that we were missing by just running past everyone, and that kind of sucks. But the grind also hones your fighting skills, you know, like your dodge timing and all that jam. Mm -hmm. So I'm okay with this. I'm gonna give this a, a legit chance later, not right now. I'm surprised this isn't. No, showing. it's not your computer, so I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless somebody wanted to buy me Dark Souls, then you know. You would need. To, <laughs> you would need to tell them your Steam name first. <laughs> we'll we'll talk. You know. Try running past all the enemies, Jack. We we did you not watch the last part of the stream? <laughs> we, we did. <laughs> it's not a grind. Are you telling me that defeating the same enemies over and over again just to gain a little bit of XP to upgrade your stuff is not a grind? Because you're wrong. That's what grinding is. It's, fi it's a fine grind because you're, you're also leveling up your muscle memory, but it's still a grind. Mm. Dark Souls 2 is easier, apparently. Stop stop taking all your armor off. Uh, thanks for that advice, because... <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Fuck it. My Steam name. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, fine. Fuck okay. it. Chard. C-H-A-R-D. And how will people know it's you? I, I've got, like, 400 to 500 hours into XCOM. Okay. And that's, that's, that's your Steam name? That's my Steam name. Oh, my God.
You don't have to, but do some research before streaming your next game. But yeah, but this is all part of it. Like, we were learning the game. I think learning the game is a bad idea after doing this. And I think next time it's either going to be a game we're familiar with or we're going to do our research. Mm -hmm. uh, this, yeah. is, this is all new to us, this streaming game business yeah. stuff. So, lesson learned. Lesson learned. When, yeah. will, when will season six of the Grabowskis be released? Tomorrow. Heads up. Heads up. Check out. The season will start tomorrow. And it'll be on the Patreon page. <laughs> <laughs> so sign up for <laughs> media slash Patreon. <laughs> dot. Redlettermediums.corn. Dot, dot corn slash Patreon slash uh, colon Kickstarter. Slash Grabunski. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I thought, I thought it it might be interesting for people just to watch us figure out the game as it goes. But it's it We're might in an area too long. It, yeah, way too long. It probably got boring for people who know the game, and uh, and it definitely got frustrating for us. <laughs> we're we're gonna do a game we know. Next, the next stream, we will try another like lighthearted four player or, or something that's open world yeah. where you can just fuck around in general. Yeah. yeah. Uh, according to the Twitters, someone is sending here a Nintendo 64 with some four-player games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, I, I have. I still have a Nintendo 64. I might not, have, I not, might not know where the cords are. Though. Oh, okay. So, but someone someone is sending it here, and so there there's a possibility of some four-player N64 games. Someone, I saw someone in the chat mention Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> I would totally play that. I played the shit out of that game when I was No, the 64 had the ugliest fucking games, though. <laughs> The, the fucking Super Nintendo looked better. Sure, it was 2D, but you traded crisp, beautiful 16-bit 2D sprites uh, for fucking blurry, low-resolution polygon shit. Yep. <laughs> I, I hated the N64. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that your heart is filled with so much hate. It progress. Progress isn't always pretty. I think the only thing I ever played for the N64 was the first Mario game for it. Mario 64? Yeah, that was when I kind of got out of video games. Yeah. Super Nintendo was what I played the most on. Mm -hmm. I have a Super Nintendo. Yeah. That's I good like, stuff. That, I was, like that was the one I played the most as a kid. I still play my Super Nintendo. Play Super Smash TV. It's the worst that. game. It's the worst game? It is. It's a twin stick shooter uh, with a control pad that doesn't have any sticks. Oh. Uh, it's pretty bad, but I played the shit out of it because that's all we have is one game. <laughs> and now I bought it as an adult. Floor of the memories. Okay, let's see what's in the chat because we're going to leave in just a little bit. Um, uh, d -d 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 -d. N64 was ugly, but it was, you know, it was something. <laughs> Look, I'm not saying every game was bad. I like yeah. Mario 64. I like Flute of Time. Flute of Time. But in general, I mean, as good as those games were, they, they were ugly. <laughs> and everything that came out on the system was ugly. Yeah. Uh, my, my Steam is out there. It's Harlack. H-A-R-L-A-C-K. You can, you can friend me. Um, uh, by the way, um, during this stream, uh, 121 people have friended me, and so there there might be a little delay in me hitting OK for everyone. <laughs> but you can all be my friend and see whenever I play Team Fortress 2, because that's what I play most of the time. Um, you can all friend me, but just fair warning, I, I like never do multiplayer games. <laughs> all right. Um... Uh, hey, Rich, hope you're ready for your Dark Souls copy. Yay! He is ready. You know, I, I wouldn't mind exploring this on my own. Yeah. Without, without like, an audience is weird. Yeah. And... I, th I think this... Video games are really tough like that, like, especially more modern games. You know, I, th I think there was an era, and N64 really helped that era of party play. That's a, That's been a Nintendo thing. Yeah. It's, like, group play. This is not a party game. This is not a group play. Um, That's why I think the next stream. Well, I mean, we'll talk. I don't know. I'm not gonna say it's gonna be it for sure, but mm. something weird like Mr. Mosquito might be fun. <laughs> well, you know, we'll like we'll have you bring in your PS2, and maybe we'll find some. Because Jesse really wants to play Katamari Damacy. I, I have that. Yeah. So I can bring that in. I could bring in Mr. Mosquito, and we can play like oddball. What fun is Mr. Mosquito? 
that's where you're a little cartoony mosquito, and you fly around this family's house, and you have to suck blood out of them without them squishing you. Oh, I want to play this game. <laughs> it's it's fascinating. I would play that. It's not the best game in the world, but it's so weird. <laughs> you're this cartoony mosquito, and there's like relatively realistic human beings walking around, and they're giant compared to you. Okay. <laughs> Rich does have a lot of XCOM hours. <laughs> it's very true. And you know what? It's all single player. <laughs> I just keep replaying that game. I, I love it. Uh, Len Kavazinski does not work at PetSmart. He has pets. We know. Yeah. We know. We, we didn't know that when we did the, the first... Yeah, the, the, we, we discovered later he doesn't have Yeah, the Skull have. Forest episode, we, we had no idea about any details of Mr. Kabazinski's life. Yeah. He was a man of mystery, and that's what intrigued us. Yeah, yeah, it was a mystery to us. We didn't know what the deal was with Len. Yeah. Till, till we invited him out here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, yeah, we all sleep in the warehouse. Uh, we have bunk beds. I should sleep it, in the it, warehouse. It would save me a lot of money. <laughs> Um, no. <laughs> did you remove the skeleton? I did remove we the did. skeleton. We, we did. removed, we removed all the skeletons. Um, I'll be, we can, we can do dual medic. You can pocket medic me and I'll pocket medic you and it'll be a super fun time. Um, oh my God. I'm, we're losing, we're losing guys. <laughs> we're losing? I'm losing me. What do you mean? I don't know. I'm very confused. Why we're why are we losing? Oh, my brain. Yeah, it's getting late. Yeah, it's getting late. Would would I consider playing TF2 on stream? <laughs> I I don't know. How would a first person shooter look on a stream? I don't know. I I w listen. I just play TF2, so I just might stream that next time I do a stream or next time we do a stream. Rich has never played it, but he Rich also doesn't like um. You want to look at it? Yeah, it's all right. Uh, I kind of. Here, I, you gotta... it's easy. It's right here. Okay. So you're going. You're going. Sorry. Um, Rich has never played TF2. No. Um. So maybe maybe we can do a thing like that where where uh, Rich and I uh, play TF2 and try. But also, Rich does not like um, multiplayer games. But but you'll find out more about that on the, on the next previous year. <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you. I have no idea how I pulled off that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that was so great. <laughs> Mike, when, Mike just hands the phone to you. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, when Mike was talking about doing a prank call, the thought came into my head. Uh -huh. you know, stranded in a 747, pilot had a heart attack, calling for advice. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had that basis okay. to work off of. Uh, I didn't know he was going to hand the phone to me, though. It was so great. That's that's why you're the greatest, is because you, you were thinking about that. I was just watching. I was just watching and amazed at what was happening in front of me. See, that, that, that could never happen again, though. He's the next 99 times out of 100. Uh -huh. He's going to hand the phone to me, and I'm just going to be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> but we caught, we caught that we lightning. We caught that lightning. That's one in, great. One in 99. Ah, oh, Super Metroid. Any of the Metroid games, I will play the shit out of all the time. Is that a good stream game, though? Metroid? Metroid app. Who yeah. knows? Metroid's fun. Metroid's just fun. <laughs> so who cares? Why don't you play The Walking Dead? I don't... I don't like dialogue they got, trees. They got, they got playing quotes. It's a joke. Oh, I get it. They don't think it's a real game. Good. Thank you. Thank you. I don't care. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be a standard game. It's a different kind of experience. It's, a, it's an interactive if, story. If they want to make an interactive story, I'm fine with that. Yeah, then call it an interactive story. Don't they? I don't know, actually. Make Jack play other M. It's I not like play. they. It's not like they advertise it as a shooter. No, it's a. But they. But it's a. It's. It's a. Well, sure, I guess. I mean, it's not my thing. At this point, you know what Telltale does. Yeah. You know what's a Telltale game. Yeah. 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 That's true. And you know what? It's. It's not like. It's not like I. I dislike that kind of stuff. There was a game for the DS called Hotel Dusk. Mm -hmm. And it was all dialogue trees, and all it was. It was like a almost like a point and click. It was a detective story. You were yeah. you were a hotel detective, and it was great. 
because you had to figure shit out. And, you know, you would talk to people and you would try to get information from them. And so the dialogue tree, tree served a gameplay purpose mm -hmm. of trying to get certain information out of people. Yeah. That was super fun. I liked Hotel Dusk. That's the only dialogue tree I've ever liked. Uh, Hotel Dusk is fit. Yeah. And I did play Other M and I did not much care for it. It was not my kind of Metroid game. I haven't played it, but it sounds like they ruined Samus. Yeah. It, it sounds like they set back women's rights for for hundreds of years. That's, it was, it, it's kind of the joke of the game, because, you know, like, mostly, most of the time for a Metroid game... Why don't you I don't know. I did a thing. Okay. But for most <laughs> Metroid games, the shtick is that you, you explore and find your power-ups, but for this one... Your ex-boyfriend, the boss, tells you when you can use your power-ups. Oh. And there's a certain section in the game where you have to cross some acid, and you have an acid shield, but your boyfriend doesn't tell you you can wear it yet, so you have to hurt yourself by walking through acid. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Even though you have the acid shield. A little odd. Yeah, it's dumb. Huh. Well, people hate that game, because okay. what, what it, Samus <laughs> was originally a kind of just a silent, badass female. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And this turns her into kind of a mousy, listen to the man huh. kind of female. Okay. Yeah, but also, but like, Metroid is about exploration, and the game had no exploration elements to it. Like, not just the whole gender equality or whatever bullshit, whatever. And, and it, wait, just real quick, because it got yeah. kind of got bumped up in the chat, I would love oh, to stream XCOM. That's a possibility. Okay, sorry, Jeff. Oh, no, and that's... Actually, let's do that, because uh, I have not played XCOM. I, I would... So I would not mind playing that again. Yeah, so, so yeah. I, I would like to play XCOM. That's this game I'd like to get into. I think XCOM... XCOM is very um, daunting to me because, because of how people... How much people get into it. And so that's... XCOM seems like a commitment. Oh, no. No? No. Yeah, how many hours do you have in XCOM? Five hundred, but that doesn't, that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't mean it's like hard to pick up. Oh no, it's not hard to pick up. Oh, I guess by commitment, I mean I would get into it so much. Is that is that a bad thing if you find something you love? <laughs> <laughs> you know, man, I really don't want to f meet the love of my life. I just don't want to do that. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> there's just there's only so much love in you, you know. <laughs> Oh man, instant coffee or brewed. Um, if you guys want to talk coffee, I can talk coffee. Uh, I have a pour over coffee and I grind my beans every it, uh, drip. Uh, it doesn't matter how much cream or sugar you put in coffee, it always tastes bitter to me. Yeah, well, I'm not a coffee drinker. You, I, I'll make you some coffee one day. It's And I'll think it's bitter. It's glorious. Coffee's a glorious thing. You know, we were... Um, I have a coffee story. It's getting late, guys. Uh, this is going to be the end of the stream. <laughs> I, was about, I was about to get into a coffee story. That's how we, this was going. I will save that for another <laughs> stream. Thank you guys for coming. Um, Wait, well, before we go. Oh, but before we go. It, why did you call it previously recorded? It's so you can do this, right? So you can do previously recorded live. Why does nobody get that? <laughs> That's the joke, is That's that we're doing joke. this live. That's the joke. These are the jokes, people. The show is previously recorded, which is just fine, but this is previously recorded live. And <laughs> when you watch the archive of the stream, <laughs> it's previously recorded live, previously recorded. It's, it's a fine joke. <laughs> let's, um, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Thanks for coming, and have be be excellent to each other. <laughs>